Hey everyone, say hello to Brian, my handsome model for this video. So to start off, I started priming his eyes with shadow primer and then I went in with um, this red eyeshadow and pink blush and just uh, took that around the outer edge of his eye, like around the inner corner, kind of taking it into his brow. And then I went in with this darker maroon shade and applied that all over the lid and just started blending it upwards. And I did want it a little bit darker, so I applied brown from the same palette right on top of it and same thing, blended it upwards. And it took a little bit of the same blush and red combo and blended that out in the crease. And then I remembered I had this bruise palette that I bought, so obviously we need that here, so we're creating a bruise on the eye. So I went in with those first two red shades and um, just kind of went over the eyeshadow that I first laid down and just adding a little bit more of the darker shade in the inner corner area just to create that depth and like more of like the, I guess, old like blood look around the inner corner. And then just kind of taking it, dragging it out towards the outer corner of his eye and just kind of flicking it up and blending it out. And I just repeat that same step a couple of times. And then with the first brush that I use, I just went around the outer edge of it just to blend it out, make sure it didn't have like any harsh edges. And I took the yellow from the same palette and just applied that on the outer edge of it and used a different brush to blend it out as well. And then I went over with that brush that I was using to apply like the darker colors just to blend out on top of the yellow a little bit. And um, whatever was left over on the brush, I brought it up towards the inner corner of the eye and then just a little right underneath the lower part of the eye just to make sure there wasn't like a blank spot there. So now I went in with like those three shades just to create a little bit of kind of like a cut effect around the outer corner of the eye and just patted that out. Once that was done, um, I got a piece of toilet paper and I just used liquid latex to um, adhere that to his forehead. And this is where we're going to be placing the hockey puck that's kind of like halfway in his head. So I just um, applied the liquid latex all around the edge of the toilet paper. And once that dried, I already had this hockey puck cut in half and just kind of figuring out where we wanted to place it. So we ordered these off of Amazon and they're small foam pucks. So they're really easy to cut in half. And then I just cut it underneath the uh, logo, the NHL logo and use spirit gum to adhere that on top of the toilet paper that we first set down. So I put a lot of pressure to make sure it stayed in place while we were like painting on top of it. Um, so while that was drying, we moved down to the neck area to create like a slit, um, you know, like from a hockey shoe, hockey blade. <laughs> so I repeated the same step, like what I did on the forehead, I did that to his neck but the piece of toilet paper I used was a little too short, so I went in with another piece of toilet paper to kind of uh, elongate it on the left side. Um, so while that is drying, I moved back up to the puck area and used the red from the same palette um, just to basically color all of the toilet paper red so it's not really white at that point. So just made sure all of it was red as much as possible. once that was done I went in with the deeper red and the blue mixed together and just went right along the edge of the puck um, just to create again more depth in that area so I did that all around it So while that is um, drying, I went in with some cotton, a little bit of a cotton ball, and I applied that to the center of the toilet paper around the neck. And it was a mistake doing that, but it really helped out at the end. So I just went over, repeating the same process like we did to the forehead, just coloring the edges 
of that toilet paper red. So then, same thing, go in and create some depth using the blue, purple, and the darker red shade around the edge of the cotton that I laid down. So then I put some stage blood on top of it just to kind of help it look a little bit more like a slit. Um, and then I went over with the two red shades over the cotton to see if that would help it look a little bit more realistic and it didn't. So I added stage blood on top of it to see if that would help and it was okay for a little bit but I changed my mind. So in the meantime I went back to the puck area and I used thick blood all around the edge of the puck just to you know create that effect like it's in his head and there's blood coming out <laughs> so I did that all around the edge and while I was doing that I was thinking about the neck area and so I was second guessing myself so I was I basically tried to rip the cotton to make it look more like a slit and that didn't really work out how I wanted it to so I just decided to completely take off the cotton and when I was doing that as you can see it took the toilet paper with it which was fine because that really helped it look like the slit that I wanted it to look like so I completely got rid of the cotton So once that was off, I went back in with the same palette and used the two red shades just to fill in Brian's skin, just to make it look like it's all bloody. And again, used the same three darker shades in that palette to create more depth all around the slit. So it kind of looks more like a hole, I guess, in his neck. Once that was done, I went back in with the yellow all around the edge of the slit around his neck and I did the same to the area on his forehead too. Now I went in with the stage blood and I applied it to the top of the slit so it has enough room to run down and look really bloody and messy. Um, but that still wasn't enough for me so I went in with I think it was either the fresh scab or thick blood and I applied it in the center of the slit so it looks a little bit more juicy and bloody and like you know chunky and gross so I applied it all through the center of the slit. Once that was done, I went back with the stage blood and I put one drop right next to the puck um, in the center of his forehead and I let that uh, run down. So we tilted his head forward a little bit and then it was moving a little fast so we tilted back and then it started getting too close to his eye. So I had him tilt his head a little bit down to the right so it could start running down towards his nose and not get in his eye area. And that is it, a very easy. As you can see, I did mess up, but it ended up working out anyways. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, yeah, this is my first bloody tutorial, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!